too soon. We're just riffing. We're just fucking riffing up here. Hey, does the Plan B record store still exist? Riffin? It does? It's fucking amazing. Because I'm 15, I mean, I'm 47, I mean, I'm... You're 14. My, my inner child definitely is, like, not even 15, but... Um, I asked my shrink if I could put my inner child in the trunk of a car and just push it over the, like, cliff and hear her screaming. But she's like, that's not how it works, Kathleen. <laughs> I fired her. I was like, I need to find somebody who'll help me put my inner child in a car. I was like, I can't deal with her anymore. She's annoying. Um, but yeah, I was 15 when I lived here for a little brief time. I went to Plan 9. And the only reason I found out about it was because I was working drive through at McDonald's and these guys came up and they were listening to really loud reggae and there was beef coming out of their car and I was like, hey. And I was like literally trying to like pick up these guys, like just like to hang out with. I was like, so um, what do you guys do around here? Because I didn't know anybody. I didn't know what to do. And they're like, hey, we'll hang out with you. And so after work, they picked me up. We smoked a bunch of weed. And then the next day, we went to play in my record store. And I was like, you guys are awesome. I like this southern hospitality, but um, yeah, it was great. Except for my sister who I lived with. Another story from my therapist. Not She's voting for Trump. 